All right, so let's take a look at the uh, project crashing or network crashing or even it is called as time cost trade off. In fact, uh, we have seen this uh, earlier, but uh, with a massive network, but this lecture will be focusing on this simple network activity A to J and it has got 10 activities and this is an activity on arrow uh, network diagram. And we told you in the previous class it is the uh, duration and the cost duration is of twofold. One is the normal duration and another is the crash duration. Whereas the cost is also twofold, which is normal cost and crash cost and normal durations are higher. Whereas crash durations are lesser when compared to normal because we will be reducing the number of days from the normal. That will be the crash duration. Remember the crash course they offer 30 days of a semester class or something like that. So that's kind of a pretty much the crash duration, but uh, normal cost is the uh, the cost associated with the normal duration, whereas the crash costs are a little bit higher when compared to the normal duration, because if you want to re reduce the number of days, you have to uh, enhance or you have to provide uh, maximum resources or something like that, additional resources, but that incurs some cost. So that's why crash costs are always higher when compared to the normal cost. And indirect cost or the cost of reduction or the penalty is uh, 100 rupee per day, which means that some establishment charges, uh, some contingency charges will be there when you, you know optimally uh, make use of the uh, construction process so in a uh, simplified or in a shorter duration. So that's what basically an indirect cost. It is 100 rupee per day and remember that and total normal cost is 500 and uh, 5825 and total crash cost is 7092 and we need to find uh, the uh, optimum duration say the maximum uh, crash duration is 22 i mean uh, not maximum the uh, total crash duration is 22 and the normal uh, duration is 40 so we need to find out some optimum uh, duration and its least cost associated least cost and this is the uh, typical network diagram for the uh, given problem and this is the network diagram when which the uh, and the the duration put outside is the normal duration the duration put within the bracket is the crash duration and same way the cost put outside is the normal cost whereas the one that puts inside is the uh, crash cost so steps i've talked about that in the previous class and uh, this is a quick uh, example. We'll be looking at the different paths and the associated normal and crash. Say so here it is 22 and maximum you can crash it to 11 days. So you can note down that by the 11th, when you have this 11th day, this iteration gets over, which means uh, the termination has come. So you cannot go any further. So by then you can crash different, uh, different critical uh, activities and see how it goes something like that right so this is the formula the change in cost is the crash cost minus normal cost or change in time is the normal time minus the crash time or cost slope is the change in cost divided by change in time which is nothing but delta cost divided by delta time and this is an absolute value it says for example you can even write normal cost minus crash cost but provided you take the absolute difference and this is the uh, activities and this is the normal cost and crash cost and the difference is given here. This is a delta cost and normal time and crash time and the difference is delta time and delta cost delta time. I have just taken from here and delta time from here and slope is delta cost divided by delta time. So this is a very uh, interesting and instrument instrumental factor in determining this particular uh, least cost methodology. Say uh, the total project duration is 22, which is the critical part duration and total cost is direct cost, which is nothing but total normal cost from the table plus the uh, overhead cost. Say in this case, the direct cost is total normal cost. We talked about all the cost and which is uh, 5825 and overhead cost is that this is a project duration multiplied by 100, which is 22 multiplied by 100 is 2200 when you add both it will become 8025 this will become total cost 
right? So this is the table or table we can call. Uh, it's used to uh, understand the uh, you know methodology, and uh, it has got almost everything like reduced day. Initially, there's no reduced day, and project duration is 22, and there's no increased cost per day, and direct cost is total normal cost. And overhead cost is 22 multiplied by 100. It's a penalty per day. So 22 is the project duration. And sum of that cost and overhead cost is the total cost. Right? So we can concise this table to uh, somewhat like this. And uh, the critical activities are marked. We don't take any other non-critical activities in this exam, any in this crashing methodology. We only look into the uh, critical activities. In this case, B, D, E, I, and J. And this is how you shorten the table. And finally, uh, we'll be looking at uh, the critical activities having a least cost slope. So in this case, the critical activity having a least cost slope is uh, B, activity B, which has got only 35. Say, uh, we'll circle that. You can even do it with pencil because it's an iterative process. And once you circle that, you can reduce it, reduce that by two day. So which means that I've got, uh, this is one. And the reduce day is 1, so 22 minus 1 is 21. And the cost profile, which is the uh, cost per day, the difference in cost per day or the cost slope is 35. So we'll put 35 as increased cost per day. And 5825 is a direct cost. 5825 plus 35 will give us 5860. And uh, 2200 becomes uh, 2100 because 21 into 100 will become 2100. And add that you'll have uh, 7,960, right? So when we take a look at this particular thing, uh, the critical path has not changed. It has become uh, 21, but uh, we don't have any other critical path. Then we'll move on to the other uh, thing, which is we can even see that and see whether uh, any other uh, critical path exists. I mean, critical activity exists. In this case, there's no critical activity exists. And the uh, B is still the uh, you know uh, critical activity having a least cost slope. So we'll reduce one more day. So we'll reduce one day. It'll become 20, and the procedure remains the same. Which means we are completely exhausted. B B cannot uh, you know B cannot uh, be reduced uh, further because we have reached the maximum. And uh, we'll check whether uh, we have reached the uh, any other critical path. No, it's still 20 is the highest, and finally. We have got uh, the iteration number three. And we, when we take a look at this, uh, excluding B, among the critical activities, we'll see activity J has got the least cost slope, which is 63. And J can be reduced two days. We'll reduce one day. We'll be, this algorithm is uh, reducing a day at a time. So you cannot reduce, uh, you know, uh, to, even though you have got two days, uh, we'll see one by one so that uh, if if there's any change in the critical activities, uh, it will be missed uh, during this uh, you know, whole process or something like that. So that's why we reduce one by one. Even then, we are pretty clear, like uh, even we can reduce two directly, but then let's the process is the same. I mean, uh, we we, are, we cannot guarantee in some times we might miss out multiple critical paths or something like that. But it's still the same. There's no change in the critical path. So we'll reduce one further of activity J and uh, still it's a critical uh, activity. Critical part does not change and we have completely exhausted activity, uh, critical activity J. Then we have to look into uh, I, E, D. So among I, E, D, since there's no change in the critical path, uh, so the critical activities remains the same. So among I, E, D, so I is the, um, I has the minimum cost slope and it can be reduced to four days or something like that. So that's how that's how it is. And uh, as I said, like I we circle that and we'll reduce it to one day and you see if there is any change in the critical path. And in this case, there's no change in the critical path. And finally, we'll do one more reduction in I and we'll see there's a change in critical path. Absolutely, there's no change in the critical path. And one more time, I, so there's a change in the critical path. And at iteration eight, we have completely exhausted uh, activity I. Now we have to look into the remaining uh, thing, D and E. Among D and E, E has the minimum cost slope of 100. 
So there's no change uh, in the critical path. And finally, I iteration I, I mean iteration nine, uh, uh, activity E has got one day duration and we have completely exhausted E also. But when we reduce this, uh, we have got two critical paths. Remember here, we have got two critical paths, B, D, H and B, D, E, I, J. This means that when you, rem when you remove this particular activity E, I mean, when you reduce it, you have got two critical paths, which has got same duration, right? Something like that. And uh, this is a very interesting thing. And uh, remember in B, D, H, B, D, E, I, J, um, what you have got is an extra H here. Say, for example, here H is extra. And uh, here D is un, un, uh, you know, um, reduced or not reduced, something like that. Say, in this case, remember that we have to take H from one activity, I mean, which is, uh, in this case, uh, when you compare D and H, H has a minimum cost slope. And in this case, there's no, choice of comparison only D exists. So D and H has to be considered both has to be considered. So this is an interesting thing in the crushing say both has to be considered and reduce one day in both the things say for example in D as well as in uh, H. So that's why we have got two days reduction and finally uh, 13 minus 2 will become 11 and 134 plus 48 becomes 182, 6544 plus 182 becomes 6726, and 6726, I mean, uh, 1100, 11 into 100 is 1100, um, then add 6726 plus 1100 is 7826, and something like that. And once you do that, one of the critical path gets eliminated. So this becomes uh, not a critical path anymore, and this is the only critical path. So we can go back to our previous way when which we can remove the H and all and in this case it's a least critical uh, you know path activity have a least critical path and you make it one and finally you reduce it and finally you have got three critical paths and you have to consider all the uh, minimum uh, critical activities with minimum cost slope in each of this network I mean each of this path and finally we have got this particular thing and we have got C and F as the uh, least critical path and finally uh, once you do that and uh, everything will become uh, nullified only the original critical path exists and you cannot uh, crash it further so this will become 11 and 0 and you cannot uh, crash it further and this iteration stops and this is how the uh, diagram is like so the the graph when you draw uh, the total cost versus the time. So this will be decreasing, 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 and then finally there will be a global minima. This is the global minima, and after this there will be rising. So that point will be our optimum point, and that will become 11, corresponding duration is 11, and corresponding cost is 7826. So which means that you can uh, crush this particular, uh, you know, project to 11 day, provided you you have a least cost of 7826. So that's the uh, logic. So this is typically the uh, project crushing.